Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs, a special episode today in the lab here. I'm going to be demonstrating to you how to safely light a Bunsen burner. Okay, so you can see that I've got the, the, the camera that's filming me so I, we can speak together and I can teach you some things, but also that I've got a webcam set up just down here to film the Bunsen burner and the equipment that I'm going to do. So a couple of things to start with that I want to point out to you. First of all, safety is the most important thing here. A Bunsen burner is a tool that we use all the time to help us to heat things and to carry out chemical reactions and all sorts of, of processes in science. But it's very important that we can use one safely, effectively and efficiently. So we can do it to keep ourselves safe, we can do it properly and we can do it quickly, relatively, without taking too long. Okay, so thinking about safety, so I'm dressed up with my Kuiper Labs lab coat on. I've also got some safety glasses um, that I will be using, even though you notice I do have my glasses on. Um, I'll be using them to be particularly um, safe. Okay, so there's some of the personal protective things that I'll be using. Obviously, I don't particularly need to worry about tying my hair back, uh, but if you are someone that has long hair, then you need to make sure that that is tied back effectively. Um, and so that there, there can't be any loose strands or anything that might hang down over your face. Because we're going to be dealing with a nice big flame here and we don't want to take any chances. Okay, so here we have the Bunsen burner. Alright, so on the benches that we use we have gas taps which our Bunsen burner will connect to. And you can see that it's got here a rubber hose that connects from the Bunsen burner here all the way to the gas tap over here. Okay, and so that allows the gas to flow from the tap through there and then into the Bunsen burner. Okay, the gas goes up through this chimney, it's called, and then we light it and so that the flame is here at the top and that's where the, the heating flame comes from. Okay, so we've got a couple of other bits of equipment that I can, I can show you, or some features of the Bunsen burner. So I've got what's called a collar down here, this little piece of metal that can slide and it's got a little hole that closes and opens depending on how I spin that collar. Now that's going to become important because it allows us to control the type of flame that our Bunsen burner is producing. Okay, we've got our base and that's pretty much it. It's a very simple piece of equipment but it works very, very well. Okay, so one thing to be aware of is that the gas tap at the moment is closed here but when I open it up, and I, so in this one I'm going to turn it 90 degrees to the left, that's what we would do with these ones to open them, that then gas is going to be rushing out and coming out the Bunsen burner. Okay, so I need to be ready when I'm going to light it so that I don't let unnecessary amount of gas into the room because that could be really, really dangerous. Um, I've also got, I've got a box of matches here ready and waiting for when I need to light it. Okay, so the first thing that I would do, let me, let me take this off. Okay, so I have my Bunsen burner. The very first step is to make sure that everything is connected. So I'm making sure that the tubing is connected onto the gas tap here nice and securely. And I'm double checking that the tubing is connected securely at the Bunsen burner as well. I'm just going to move the Bunsen into a position so you can see it nicely on the camera. Okay, so everything's connected up well, everything's all tight and connected properly and the collar is free to move. Okay, it's just a simple thing we can do to help us to start with. Okay, and so when what I'm going to do in a moment to when I'm going to light the Bunsen burner I'm going to be lighting the match and then I'm going to be turning the gas on and then lighting the burner itself. Okay, but the first thing that I have to do, step one, safety gear, safety glasses and making sure that we're all safe and ready to go. Now, second step is close the hole. Okay, now so the, the reason that we have this collar is that it controls how much oxygen or how much air gets into our flame. Okay, when I close the, the hole, that not much oxygen gets in. What that does is that turns the flame to a yellow colour or a very visible colour, so we call it the safety flame. When we open up the hole, we let more oxygen in and our Bunsen burner heats with a blue flame. But that blue flame is a bit harder to see. And so it's not as safe, but it's more effective for heating. But when we light, we always start with our safety flame. So step one was safety, so safety gear. Step two is hole closed. Step three is light the match. Okay, so I've got a lit match and only now I'm going to open up the gas tap and then bring the match in from the side and it lights the flame. 
So you notice that nice yellow color. So this flame is quite tall. It's probably about 15 centimeters tall. You can't, it kind of goes off the edge of the frame of what you're seeing here and now. But then you notice that if I open up this hole, the flame becomes a totally different color altogether. Okay? So it's blue. So let's see if I can, if I move it down a little bit, you can see the contrast a little bit better. You notice that there's kind of a light blue section in the middle and then a kind of a paler blue section up above it. Now that light blue section looks like it should be extremely hot, and it is. I'm not going to stick my finger into it. However, that's actually the coldest part of the flame. It's actually a bit of unburnt gas that's pushing its way up through. So the hottest part of this flame is actually just above that. Okay, Because as the flame gets higher above that, that then um, it, uh, it, it kind of loses some of its energy. So if you're going to heat something in a Bunsen flame, that that's the spot that you should be aiming for. Okay, and so we've got our Bunsen lit. This is our blue heating flame. Okay, I can do what I need to do. Um, and then if I'm at a point at which I'm not heating it, but I need to keep it on, then I'm going to switch to my yellow safety flame. You can hear the difference in the sound. You might have picked that up in the, the microphone. Okay, and so we have our nice safety flame. And then finally to switch our Bunsen off, I don't snuff out the flame like a candle. Don't, you don't ever do that because the gas is still on. Notice my tap is still on. What I have to do is turn the tap off. And you notice that the Bunsen goes out because the gas stops. Okay, and now I can take my safety glasses off because I'm finished. Okay, only after you've finished. So we started off with our safety gear. Then we made sure, we made sure everything was connected. We lit the match and holding the match in one hand, then I opened up the gas tap at the end just afterwards and then I lit the gas on fire and then I turned it open to the blue heating flame. To switch it off, I switched it off using the gas tap only. Okay, so those are the steps that you need to know in order to light a Bunsen safely. Make sure that you're paying close attention to the instructions that you're given and that you know what you're doing and where the parts of your body are at all times. Because with a big flame like this, it can be very easy to, um, to be careless or for something to happen by accident. So it's really important that you are aware of what you're doing and um, why you're doing it and what equipment that you need. All right, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.